Hey class! This is your first blog assignment, and I am here to provide a bit of insight, to help you. You may want to think about a few of the things I am going to present, and write them down. First, let's look over the assignment, as to what Professor Crane is wanting you to complete and turn in. The assignment states, Senior management is currently requesting that our new managers, yes that's right, that would be you, to inform our teams of futuristic applications or technologies relevant to the following industries only. Retail, transportation, manufacture, or distribution. Simply, pick an industry any of the ones I just mentioned. Okay that's done. Now, well, let's see here. The next to-do item is for you to connect to the internet and research a futuristic application, technology that is from, or beyond 2020, that fits the industry in which you selected. Okay done with that. Professor Crane tells you to describe in detail, very important, as it may require a few sentences to ensure the details are fully explained regarding how your selection works, or interacts with a business environment in relation to your selected industry. In other words, where would this application or technology be found or used within the process of the business? Sales, marketing, accounting, production, or shipping? Okay, moving on to the next question. In your book, there are a few business objectives that are described in detail. Which two would explain the benefits of your application or technology to ensure us with a competitive advantage? Remember, to use the business objective to explain your application or technology. Last, because of the confusion regarding what technology to use. Do not worry about what others are providing. Just do your own thing, make it good, and provide details. The key is to explain your technology in relation to the industry in which you selected, and how it will work within the business process to ensure a competitive advantage, using two business objectives in support. It is important to explain it as you know it. Illustrate your knowledge. Oh. Don't forget to write each question out, with your answer below, and remember to put your name at the top with the title of the assignment. I would suggest, do not quote the work of others, as Professor Crane wants you to only use your own perspective, or understanding. Hope this helps you, and if you have other questions, don't email me. No. No. Email or call, Professor Crane. Have a great week and I will check on you again soon.